Welcome back. Want backstage passes, a meet and greet with your favorite athlete, dinner on the beach in Maui? Well, Lisa Crawford can make all that happen for you and then some. Here she is to tell you all about it. Lisa, great to have you on the show. How are you? I'm very well. Thanks so much for inviting me, Dave. All right, so sit in my seat, VIP tickets, travel, and concierge services. What exactly is that all about? Well, it's basically what the name says. So, Dave, what we do is we attain premium seats to all concerts, sporting events, and theater. Basically, the way I started my business. Um, now we do travel, luxury travel. We don't do like a tour that you can just book a tour and go online. But we actually create uh, customized itineraries for all of our clients. So it's very high-end and very luxury. We put together every single detail. And last but not least, a full service of concierge services. So when you're off the show, you can come in my private jet. You can rent a yacht. Uh, you can do a, a luxury vehicle. We do events. And we do I Do Romance. Did you very casually just mention that you have a private jet? Is that what you just <laughs> is that what just happened? It's a joke. I can get it. I can get everything. <laughs> oh wow! I thought I thought you you had your own personal one. That you know I know there was a helipad. You landed your helicopter for this interview. Absolutely. Yeah, I saw that. It was pretty cool. Yeah, we'll have to wait on the jet. <laughs> right, the jet. The jet is next month. Um, how did this How did this start for you? Were you sitting in the nosebleeds of a concert and you were like, never again will this happen? Actually, the funny story is I had an independent marketing agency and I and I would do. Um, uh, ads for the Miami Dolphins and the Panthers and at that time they didn't have that an advertising budget so they would just give me tickets to the nosebleeds and then front row and but they would give me boxes of tickets so I would take these boxes of tickets home and I would go to every neighbor and try to solicit tickets I'd like you want some tickets you want to go to the game because at that time which is about 14 years ago I really didn't have any interest in going to what 41 home games and then in 12 whatever right. it was no interest so um, my husband, who was a new, I was newly married at the time, said, did you ever hear of eBay? And that's the beginning of the business. I started on, on eBay, and my very first client actually um, was a, he had just signed a huge Lennar deal. Um, it was like an $80 million deal, and he called me up. He had never been to New York, and it's history. I did all of his tickets. I so thought it was cool. fraudulent. eBay was the highest sale on record. Right. And they called me up and they said, are you a fraud? And I'm like, oh my God, am I a fraud? <laughs> but um, no, and that's the beginning of the business. And you're clearly not a fraud I'm now. clearly, clearly not. not. Yeah. Clearly not. Yeah, so, and I wasn't back then either. So, But it's so cool. You know, it's not, you're not just the person to call for two concert tickets to Maroon 5. I mean, like, you're in the business of planning really extraordinary, amazing trips. I mean, some of these, some of these things that I saw, a Santa Claus trip to Iceland, what exactly is that all about? One of our clients down here, he's really into uh, Christmas and his children. They don't believe at this point. They're getting older and they don't believe. And he says, you have to do something for me where my kids are going to believe again. So lo and behold, we have our team. We have a travel team. Um, and we get together and we say, OK. So there really is there really is a North Pole. It's not really in the North Pole. It's in Lapland, Finland. And we plan this. Whole, and they have a village in a Santa Claus village with the real Santa Claus. So we have this whole um, amazing trip for this family. They'll be leaving December 21st, I believe, and they'll be going to visit Santa. Oh, that's and so they cool. will believe. When they get back to the States, they will believe. Yeah, well, they better <laughs> for what that's going to cost them, I bet. Uh, and I know that Billy Joel's coming up in January. You've got some kind of hookup for that, right? Well, actually, one of the girls in our office who's in our travel team knows Billy, Billy Joel personally. So we're relying on her to make the hookups come to come to pass for as far yeah. as the meet and greets. So how does that work? Uh, what is it like? You go backstage and you hang out with them, teach them how to play piano. What what happens? We go backstage, we hang with them. Hopefully, have a few drinks with us. Yeah. Um, Don't let him drive. He's had a problem with that, <laughs> by the way, in his career. But yeah. actually, I will tell you that that's unusual because usually when we set up meet and greets, it's all dependent on what celebrity and what pro athlete you have. Um, some will take some time to you know be with you. The others will just take a quick snapshot sign something and leave. So it depends. We kind of know what celebrity and what pro athlete is going to give you the most bang for your buck. Yeah, you just you were telling me you just had an interesting one, a sort of a difficult was, one for you to pull off, right? My one of my most challenging ones was over the weekend. One of my VIP clients, he has a grandson who loves Danny Woodhead from the Chargers. Right. So you can't obviously do anything at the stadium and it's a traveling team. They're not, you know, they're not here, so it's a little bit more difficult. So uh, my investigative team, me, <laughs> found out the hotel that they were staying at. We found out the field that they were doing practice at. And we kind of, it was, it was, it was like a James Bond thing. OK, you've got to get to this hotel, and you've got to be here by 1 o'clock, because they should be in by 1.30. 
and pay the doorman out, get to where they're going, and we're going to be good. We did that, and everything was good. And here come in all the team players, with the exception of Danny Woodhead. One of his friends from Miami picked him up at the field he was practicing at, and um, he went out with his friends. <laughs> so there's my, my VIP client. We're all standing there, and the kid's in tears. The next day, we did it again. We did a repeat, and sure enough, he got a picture. He got a, a, a signed football. He was thrilled. But that yeah, was but, challenging. But what? So, but Woodhead doesn't know this is happening. If I if I'm Woodhead understand your no you're, idea this is right. happening. So, what if he's not a nice guy? We heard from. I I have some contacts. He said he's very approachable. He loves kids, and he's a nice guy. And you yeah. know what? He really was a nice guy. And he spent a lot of time before he got on the bus to go to the Dolphins where we could beat them. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, right. And that's why the Dolphins won, because exactly. of you distracting Danny, Danny Woodhead. Would, that's Thank what you. it's going to come back wow. to. Wow. If they, if, they if they win the Super Bowl this year by some miracle, you deserve a ring. I am. Yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah, for yeah, sure. I'm asking. All right. There's a new division of your company, I Do Romance. Brand new division, and that came basically from the requests of so many of brides that are getting married, um, and that's a funny story too, but a lot of the brides come to us because I'm dealing with their parents, so now their children are getting married. Can you do this great, fantastic, unbelievable honeymoon for um, my daughter or my son? And we're like, sure, and that's the birth of I Do Romance. And then for me, it goes a little, one step further. I was sitting at the beach with my husband, and I've been married for 15 years now, and I met up with this other woman, and she said, I love the idea of I Do Romance, and she was a she was a, an elderly lady, and she said, I need to get the spark back in my life. So it's not only for the bride who's getting married or the groom who needs a romantic honeymoon. It's for romantic travel. Romantic travel. Romantic okay. travel. Yeah. Romantic getaways, uh, events, bachelor parties. Anything that you can think of related to romance, we have. I don't. I wouldn't call a bachelor party romantic. I've been to my share. It's that's uh, <laughs> that's not a word that gets thrown around a lot. But oh, it's your bachelor party. No, but oh. I would, but I might call you when it is. <laughs> I yeah. think you should. Yeah, you can ditch the romance angle though for me. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not interested in that. Um, all right, and you have an office on Las Olas, correct? Yeah, we opened about a year ago on 13th and Las Olas. Uh, we have a fabulous office, and people are free to visit us, and we can build custom trips and do it right there in our office. It's great. Great. And, and we have ten, can I tell you the best? Yeah, please. Ten girls. Ten girls. One guy. For my bachelor party, that's what I want. I want to come <laughs> to your guys. office. Yeah. You can tell the one guy to go away for you a week, and I'll do. just hang out. Yeah. That one guy is surrounded by ten women. Best job in town. Uh, he's, I'm telling right? you. Luckiest yes. guy ever. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Uh, next to me, of course, because I have this job. Uh, <laughs> if people want to get a hold of you, uh, how do they do it? Uh, they can either visit me, as I said, at 1263 East Las Olas. They can call our local number, which is 954-456-0419. Visit us online at sitinmyseats.com or iDoRomance.com. All right. Well, listen, on behalf of all Dolphin fans, thank you for helping <laughs> them beat the Chargers. Um, anytime. Yeah, and it was great to have you here. Thank you. It was great being here. Yeah, and come back again. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Lisa. When we come back, some really innovative procedures are going down right here in South Florida with regards to treating your eye. And we go eye to eye with the director of cornea for excellence in eye care when we continue.